Model steam engines and boilers, a collection of interesting and useful information when building model steam engines and boilers. This is part one, the basic fabrication of metal parts. The following edited video extracts are taken from part one of my series, Making a Stuart 504 Boiler Plant. A gas burner fitted to a Stuart 504 boiler generates a lot of heat. In this episode, I'm showing how to build an internal stainless steel heat shield which keeps the heat where it's needed on the tubes and the boiler itself, not the side panels. This clip shows me using a felt tip pen to mark out the position for the two pieces of brass angle that will support the upright panels. Before I get swamped by experts telling me I'm doing it wrong as usual, I would just like to say, these videos are designed for beginners. I always say that because they are designed for beginners. And as a beginner, it is very important to educate your eye. It is of course possible to achieve very accurate drilling of these parts, but it is so over the top for what this part's going to do. It's perfectly fine doing it this way. This is not always the case. Sometimes it is very important to make sure the holes are 100% accurate, but in this case, it's not necessary. This is a piece of brass that's been drilled, which is going to be riveted to the floor of a gas burner mounting in a model steam engine boiler. It is not a high precision part. It's not part of a satellite and it's not part of an intercontinental ballistic missile guidance system. But please do not take this the wrong way. What I'm saying is you can't just drill the holes in any old place in the brass. They have to be accurately drilled, but not down to the last micron. As I said earlier, from a beginner's point of view, it is very important that you learn how to calibrate your eye. This takes considerable practice. I've been doing this for quite a lot of years, so I can make a felt tip pen mark and drill holes thereupon, and the parts are more than accurate enough, and here they are, and I've written on them. On the brass angle, I've written base R and base L, that's base right and base left, and on the stainless steel mounting plate, I've just written L and R for left and right. What I'm doing at the moment is just making a mark on the metal plate. And once I've made the mark, I drill it all the way through in the drilling machine and pop a rivet in there. Then I make a mark through the hole with the Minicraft drill at the other end as well. This ensures that the brass angle is perfectly parallel to the edge of the plate. Before I permanently fix this brass angle in place though, I have to drill some more holes in it. By using a couple of rivets to align the parts, I can then drill the holes all the way through the steel plate using the brass angle as a guide. I riveted the brass angle using 8 rivets to the stainless steel plate and now I'm using a needle file to mark the position of the uprights. The next step is to mark the two vertical plates with an L or an R so I know which side they fit. It's quite important to make sure that this side panel does not move whilst the marking out procedure is underway. And the same of course applies to the other side panel. I don't normally use a hammer on things, but I had to do this just to move the guides out a little bit to make the burner a tight fit between the guides. As I don't want the burner to move out of position, I'm putting an end stop in place. And all this is, is another piece of drilled angle. I'm marking out the positions for it. Then I just drill the holes in the base plate, countersink the holes in the base plate and screw in some more 8BA bolts. Once again using my incredibly useful small Barco spanner, to grip the nuts on the other side. And now, if I slide the burner into position, it stays where it's put, watch, even upside down. This clip shows me fitting one of the side plates to the brass angle, and as you can see, all of the four BA bolts are screwing perfectly, and I didn't have to file any of the holes or move their position. So there really is a lot to be said for working on the calibrated eye. Get plenty of practice in, and very soon you'll be able to do this. Just use a felt tip pen mark, and follow through with a drill, and everything fits together. I would, however, like to take this opportunity to say that if you are a beginner to metal work in general, you may find that it doesn't quite work out like this, and you may have to use a needle file to elongate the holes in the steel plate to make it fit the holes that you've drilled in the brass angle. You have been watching edited extracts from part one of my series, Making a Stuart 504 Boiler Plant. This is only a very small part of the entire series, and I do recommend that you watch it, it's quite interesting. 
Stay safe and well. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.